So we're going to go to the projector PM300 system in the van, which controls your lights, your water pump, and it is also lithium battery compatible. To turn on, you have a little button here called load. You'll press it once, you'll press it twice, and you'll hear that beep. Instantly the lights come on. You have a switch up the top here. We switch that on, it brings our roof lights around through the top as well. Also on here, we have our pump, which is our water pump for free camping. Press it once, a little pump will come up in the corner there. You see a little green pump just in the corner. Your pump will then kick in. To turn it off, again, one press and it disappears. On the control panel, we have our water levelers for your water tanks. As you can see, 75% water in each tank. Gives you the temperature outside. I have a clock, a date, how many volts are going into the batteries through the solar system. So at the moment you see it's pushing into 13.8 to 13.4, which is good. You have 100% charge in your battery. You also have a little light, so you can turn the light off if you don't want it on, turn it back on again, and you can have it in silent mode so you don't hear anything. Down further here is your light switch, so that turns all the lights off manually. This also is a neat little feature. Push the little button on the side. Oh, there we go. So you can also walk around the van with it, turn your lights on and off, take it to bed. So you don't have to get up and turn your lights off. As you'll see here, this is your actual battery. So at the moment it's fully charged. It will drop down each line for the power that's being used. These are your tanks. So you've got one tank and two tanks in this van. So they're both full. This is your grey water tank. So if you're free camping, a lot of people don't like you dumping water on the ground. So you use your grey water tank. That'll tell you when it's full. Eco mode. We don't really worry about that one too much because that shuts everything off. Water pump, one press, water pump starts up, one press, water pump off. When you're using your water pump, always ensure that you turn it off after the use because they do have a tendency to overheat. So this is also got a um, capable of for your tyres, uh, your air pressure in each reel if you connect it up with the sensors on the wheels. Can do all that as well. Just gonna get out of it. So that's just your normal everyday screen. We have internet, we've got Google, Osprey, all your settings, your networks, snow, maps, YouTube, photos, you can play movies all through it. Isolation switch, make sure your aircon is switched on. Press your power button on the left hand side top. You'll hear a beep to change your settings. You'll notice there's a little sun there at the moment, so that's heat. Press your mode button, takes it to air. So if you just want air flowing through, press it again, goes to air con and down to condensation mode. To turn it off, just press the top button, power button again, and off she goes. You have an isolation switch up here, which turns it off. Your Dometic fridge, freezer, fridge. To turn the fridge on, hold the button in to hear it beep. It beeped, your little emblem comes up, and you then have all your settings. To change your settings, just press the button once, scan down to what you want to do. So at the moment it's on gas, so we press the button again. We have gas, 240, battery, and auto. Normally we would leave it on auto, press the button, go back down to your arrow at the end, press, it takes you back to the start. So what auto does, if you disconnect your 240 volt, the van will instantly go, I need to turn the fridge on, I'll go to gas. If the gas is not on, it'll pick up the battery. To turn off, again, just hold the button, power off. Little black button here, hold, it will light up all your screen. So at the moment we're on auto, so whatever source you're looking for, if you pull up and you plug in your 240, it will automatically pick it up. If you disconnect your 240 and you're free camping on gas, it will automatically pick up the gas and start it up and it will also do the same on battery. But you can always go to manual, like so, just press the little white button here, press it again, you'll see it brings up the battery, press again, brings up your little gas flame, that's doing it through manual. This one here is your temperature control, you can have it ice cold or medium down to low, up, back up to high. And to turn it off, just hold the button in and away she goes your gas line. Before you, you start cooking, make sure that it's turned on. Again, 
turned off, turned on. When you're not using it, to turn the gas off, it may have a leak, but in another instance, we also have what's called a gas detector. It's not a legal requirement, but you can have one installed down low on the floor. So if you do have a gas leak in your van, it will pick it up and no problems in the world. So, so we lift up our, our top lid, got a little rubber bung just here. So as you lift it up, you hear a little click. That engages the stove to be ignited. We have one electric, three gas. Turning across to six, and instantly we have heat. Always remember your element at the back here, your electric one, is only for 240, not for 12 volt. Push your button in, hold it in. Your flame has appeared. Hold it in for a few seconds, just release slowly. You can get up, down, for low flame, and bound to the button to off. So to turn the griller on, it's this one here, with the funny little teeth marks as I call them. Round, same thing again, hold it down, press, and she instantly fires up. Hold it for a few seconds, slowly release. Exactly the same thing as the griller. Turning round to about 200, on with the spark, instant flame. Again, just leave it on for a few seconds, and it stays on. Done. Hot water. Cold water, as you'll see there's nothing there because we haven't got the pump on at the moment. Microwave, hatches, very simple. Little buttons on the side, little red button there. Open, open, grab your handle and lift. Reverse, up, handle, lock, lock. You have a fly screen, which comes across to your night screen. So on this side, we have our toilet and our shower. You always travel with your latch locked. Same thing with the toilet. Always make sure that that's open and make sure that, that way they don't come open when you're driving. Hot water and gas hot water. So free camping, you'll turn your gas hot water on. Very simple procedure. Turn it on, the red light will come on. It will flash. The red light will go out once you've, you've fully heated up in the gas hot water. So, yeah. If you're in a caravan park, and you want hot water, you then use your electric hot water. But just remember if you've been free camping and you've already got your hot water, been using on the gas, it will already be hot. And the same the other way around. If you've been in a caravan park and your hot water is already warm and you turn the gas on, it will automatically just heat up straight away. Open him up. Put your load in, close the door power, you'll see it lights up all your configurations that you want to pick. Now to choose your load, you have a program button. So you just press it, that there is quick wash, go across to soft wash and whatever wash you want. If you're free camping, you would just put it on quick wash, which is now flashing. Once it's done that, hit your uh, start button just there, like so, and away she goes. You'll get a 28 minute cycle. And to turn it off, very simple again, just press the off button and away she goes. Top loader, up in the top corner here is your tap. So water on and water off, down to your outside hose. So we lift our lid. We have what's called a traveler. So this here stops your bowl from moving while you're driving along. So always remember, put that back when you've finished your load just clips in like so, little handle to pull it out. To operate the washing machine, very simple. Power button gives that little tune. Your progress button, that gives you what you want to wash. So you want to do a wash, you might just want to rinse your washing, do a spin or do a rapid wash. Your water level, you can have a high level, medium, low, minimum. So once you've selected your your water level, you've got all your clothes in, you then just press the start button. If you're free camping and you want to use your washing machine, you would then use it on minimum or low because they use quite a fair bit of water. So you would probably use about half the tank. So minimum, which is a very small load. Once you get to a caravan park, you hook up your mains water. You can then go on to 240. 
You can do a full load, a full wash, high wash, the whole lot in one hit. Little handle underneath here, pull up. You can adjust in, side, in, out, like so. To lower it, pull it forward towards you. There's a button on the floor, you'll see my foot go onto it now. Push down and push the table down. Release, like so. But when traveling, it's recommended that we leave it in the lock position. Pull your locks down. Push up. If you want them to stay open, just turn the little knob on each side. Always keep your hand out there, take the weight off, pull him back in, latch down, make your way around. You have your fly screen, which pulls down. They are magnetic, so they will stick together. And you have your night line. Okay, right up the Sometimes under the bed lights, you'll have a little USB to charge your phone or anything. Same as in the boot here, you've got a little boot on the side, which has a 12 volt USB and a 240 volt power point. So the fan, very easy, simple thing. Unlatch, turn around, you have two buttons on each side. So on, all your speeds, turn off, all the way back up again. You have uh, timers on there, which you have three, six, nine, and 12, which is sleep mode. So you can turn it on for three hours and it'll automatically turn off. You can do it manually if you like by pushing the button up and to turn it off, 